Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. And you always got to get the last clap. I know, always I got to get, get the, the clap, clap and I have to intro the podcast. Because if I don't intro the podcast, who's gonna? Me, you know? hello, I'm right here. <laughs> no, I just like do it right. I do it with a cadence that like gets the people's ears perked up and ready for an yeah. hour of absolute bullshit. Yeah, well, we'll start it off very quickly with the bullshit. Um, so we all know 2012. Mayan calendar ending, how scary boots that fucking was. Like, I was in, I think, like, sixth grade. No, I was probably in, like, first grade in 2012. I was really young in 2012. Oh, yeah, because you're 16 right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you were... Mm -hmm. Because I was going to say, I was in, like, sixth, seventh grade. So you were definitely, like... Oh, you weren't, like, born yet. To hang out with me. Um, Well... I was hanging out with your mom because I banged her to have you. Oh, oh, so you're mother. You really are mother. I am mother. Um, I'm mother too. But I am a firm believer. Our, we all know how scary that was. Like, I was literally convinced that, like, a tsunami was going to eat me up in fucking Granbury, <laughs> Texas, which is fucking landlocked, like, 300 <laughs> miles into the fucking land. But I was convinced I was going to die. How do we know we didn't die? How do we know everyone in the world didn't die in 2012 and we are just living in hell right now? I'd be so pissed because I would at least hope that there would be an immediate change. Like there would be an immediate flip and like the world is crazy. (laughs) But if we actually did die and then life just kind of kept pushing and then got like like global warming is just like progressively getting worse. I'm like, that's the hell we're living in. They tricked us. They literally tricked us with 2016. Yeah. They were oh. like, this is the last good year. We're showing you what life could be like, but instead, yeah. you get Donald Trump. Chomp! Chomp, please save yeah. me. Honestly, like, I'm grateful for Chomp in a lot of ways. <laughs> Um, how I, the, a lot of ways being how many awesome jokes like that there are like yeah, think yeah. about like if we couldn't say Donald Chomp like, like what would be there instead what would we be filling the air with it? Um, please please Trump save me please Trump save me like praying Dude, to Trump them breaking the glass because he literally <laughs> wouldn't open the door like what did he think was going to happen like, he thought Trump did he was think literally going like, to save walkies him walkies were going to go off and it was going to be like Donald Trump on the walkie talkie and be like <laughs> let him go let him go He's one of my members. Also, I th- I feel like I need to clarify. I'm not actually grateful for Donald Trump. Oh, like, I don't see, know. no, I thought you actually were. So that's oh, what. Okay, thank you for okay, the clarification. Yeah, I, just, I felt like I thank know. You. I know, like a lot of our like beliefs align with each other. Me and Chomp. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I hope nobody actually believes. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, the one thing that Chomp did eat with the one thing he did one good thing he said one good thing his entire life I think I know what you're gonna say and it was fake news oh, he ate okay. with fake news he really did I mean like, that just like circles back to our conversation about how like conservatives and like all those like right wing people they are really good with the catch words yeah. but they're so good with those little catchphrases and words because that's how they ended up there in the <laughs> first place like, they got captured they got tricked yeah. by by lingo. Yeah. Like, yeah. the lingo is what brought them in. So then they get, Demon like... Democrat. Hello. Democrat is really fucking good. Like, Hello. I stand... Hello. Like, uh, are you okay? I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> um, what was, what's the other one um, that you and Orion really like? Please send it to me, Rachel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <gasps> Jesus, it was seen. Where, Rachel? Oh, my God. Show me to me, please. <laughs> send it to me, Rachel. It was literally seen in Ohio. Please send it to me. <laughs> oh, now, please. Oh, my God. This okay, is crazy. Rachel, which one? <laughs> send it to me, baby. Which one? Is it on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I'm kidding. Rachel, don't do that. <laughs> Please, Rachel, please. Oh, please. Do you know the you know the Instagram or TikTok? The background behind that is that like it was when everyone was like saying like their parents' favorite musician or celebrity died. Oh, and fuck she her. couldn't say a celebrity because her parents didn't or her mom didn't give a fuck about a celebrity, so she just said Jesus Christ <laughs> appeared in fucking a Walmart parking lot in Ohio. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. like, what does that look like? That actually had me and Orion thinking because we were like, dude. If you saw Jesus, would he be humongous or would he just be like our size? Like he I would just like be normal. I always imagine him like being our size. Yeah, just like a normal dude like yeah. walking around. And then like I feel like there's so many people who just like kind of serve Jesus that if I saw Jesus, Me. I wouldn't know. Me. I mean, if I give Jesus. There was the opposite of Jesus for sinning and going to hell. Then yeah, I guess you know, that is you. You know what a lot of people like. Satan. You know who a lot of people say I look like. 
Who Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot oh, of people say <laughs> a lot of people say me and Beyonce are like twins but is it there a video of a girl saying that it's uh I think her name is New York but she's like Beyonce oh yeah I because I that I dude I'm just having too many like references of videos pop in my head so we need to move on because my brain is like spinning because I was thinking of like this is so humiliating uh, like I was like that sounds like something Bambi would have said but uh, keep no. going you're weird okay I'm um, not though so so I know in like the last, oh, I want to address this real quick. This fucking thing. Um, a lot of bitches have been saying like, Drew's always on that damn phone. Like get off that damn phone. Like, no, you don't realize it's open in the notes app. And it's how this podcast runs is me looking at this fucking phone. So <laughs> suck my nuts from the back. I'm dead fucking serious. Like I'm not I even know, playing. I'm serious. Um, but what the fuck was I going to say? I need say? to eat from the back sloppy style. Ew. Um, <laughs> someone's dad saw the podcast and said, like, I like her, but, like, his oh, yeah. energy is really fucking scary. Like, he didn't like the way you touch your phone, which I yeah. do agree with. Drew does touch his phone like he shouldn't be touching it. Like, it's really weird. The, exactly. We shouldn't. These, these are the real demons. Let's talk about it. It's Black Mirror. That's your Black Mirror. Ever thought mm -hmm. about that? Looking at it when it closes, you're looking back at yourself. I showed, I told someone that um, when we were camping and they were like, oh. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I literally never I thought about that. I love interacting with people who, like, are actually normal and living their life as we, like, humans were intended to. And when you say things that have been regurgitated on the internet 18 times, you sound like a genius. Exactly. Like, they just can't believe it. I literally sounded, I was, like, so pseudo-intellectual on to that To you, trip. to him, you were Alan Watts in that moment. Yeah, he yeah. was like, wow. I broke his Oh, brain. my God. Um, um, well, shitting on your period is, like, if you, um... Ew. Tried girls to don't poop. Girls don't have periods. Peanut butter and chamoy. That's what I That's decided. That's the nastiest <laughs> shit you've literally, I think, ever said ever. And like, I'm almost like, we should cut that. <laughs> like, I was. Just well, like it's only it's only nasty because one, you're lying because girls don't poop. Hello. <laughs> and two, girls don't have periods. Well, gr no, girls like have periods. Like, so girls don't poop. That's, well, you're inferring. Wait. You're inferring that girls don't poop when you just. No, I'm saying like both are just like true statements. Okay. <laughs> wait, you should be a comedian because you're like hilarious. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god, you would do so good if you like actually tried out that. Wow. Yeah. But okay, so in the past couple of episodes, I've been thinking about things that are like barbaric that we do now. Um, and one of them I thought about is so my mom. And my sister and a lot of girls in my life all do this, but they go to a lash technician and get false eyelashes installed into their fucking eyes. And that's crazy. Like, that's really, really, really crazy. Um, and I'm like, yeah, it's swaggy right now. I get it. Like, full eyelashes, cunt. Like, you're giving everything you wanted to give, but, like, it's the fantasy. But, like, really think about that. And it's, like, hot gluing, like, hairs to your hairs like i don't know it's really crazy it's kind of like hair extent extensions though but mm -hmm. like for your eyes i guess it is insane because also like how risky it is like we shouldn't be putting glue near our eyes oh um did you have to like make that much noise with it mm. i'm a stanley girl now I'm a Stanley Cup. When the cup. fuck did you get that? Because I came home and that was just in the house and we've only been apart from each other for like 12 hours. On, so. the, on the way to Orion's, I stopped at Dick's Sporting Goods. Well, I stopped there because Why the title- Why did you stop there? Because Dick's, I was like, ooh, like, oh, okay. get Dick. Yeah. Like, let's go get laid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, Grinder was down yesterday, yeah, so yeah. you were really- Yeah, and my pastor's name is Dick. Um, <laughs> but I- Went to Dick's because I was charging my car because I almost, I literally, I don't have a Tesla. <laughs> I don't have that. I never did that. No, yeah, because you hate Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon Musk. Hello. Would never support that man. But I had to stop at this parking lot um, to go to Dick's Sporting Goods um, because I haven't been in so long. And that store is like literally one of my favorite places on earth, like as a kid growing up, because like I was in and out of sports. Like I loved sports. Yeah. Like I literally played so many sports growing up. Um, but I wanted to like see what it felt like in there. Cause I was like having to pass the time. And then I saw like a whole shelf of these and I was like, 
Girl, fuck Hydro Flask. Literally fuck Hydro Flask. Not for me. Not for me. If you want to ever send me something, please do. Please. I I'm tried so hard to get Hydro Flask PR in same, like 2019. Same. I've had this shit. Uh, I've been by your side for years and I haven't gotten my flowers at all. So I'm a Stanley Cup girl until further notice. And this fits in the cup holder in my car. I know, car. Th- but Hydro did start competing with that, and now they make cups. That I fit saw in it, the car. and I I was really hoping they came out with like a came out came out. Hold on, <laughs> came, I was really hoping they came out of the you. closet. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I was hoping they would come out with one um, that was like brushed aluminum. Like, oh my god, I want I, I love think metal. Get ca- like custom Hydro flasks. This isn't like an ad for these brands. So we were just like. Going on a tangent about it. I think the shape of that cup is really fucking disgusting. It though, and I on hate you. it. It's it really <laughs> grows on you. I mean, when you've had it for six hours, you're like, you'll. That's what I thought when I first got it. Well, I have one. Like, can you hold it from down there? Because I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, like, I have to hold my mic up. Actually, we're gonna. Oh, have to pause. this is the heaviest thing ever. Yeah, it's big. It's got more water in it. I have to fix my mic because I have to like hold it up, and it's fucking pissing me off. So. Oh my god! Um, well, ever since I got my texting and driving ticket, yes, I text and drive. Hello, I I don't anymore because I'm actually scared. But I actually I will say I think I am of all the people we know I might be the best at my phone usage to driving. Yeah. Um, like I do really do my best, and if like I have I, to reply, like I will like use a voice to like I th- I send so many voice memos because usually I'll be in the car and I'm like, blah, yeah, blah. you are really good about that. But me. I'm just going through TikTok and driving. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I'm watching a YouTube video. Like, I hacked my phone. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, no, I like- no, no. I'm, I'm just fucking kidding. I literally don't do that. But I did do something really concerning today where, <laughs> like, I parked my car and I got out and I had, like, a duffel bag and I had this big-ass stupid fucking water bottle that's, like, so and fucking big. And you still tried to use your phone. Um, and I had, like a pair of shoes in one hand and like I just had a bunch of shit in my hands and then my wallet in my other hand and my phone on top of it and I was like carrying all this shit and like scrolling and watching TikTok with all this shit in my hand and I was like that is oh. insane I was like oh my god like this is like a this is a problem and like I need to like literally go to rehab for my phone and I'm not even fucking kidding because I went to the woods wasn't able to use it for four days and I came back and I've like quadrupled my screen time like it's oh really my god bad. I mean I've been pretty bum this past week so my screen time has been so bad like my tiktok screen time got so bad that i have started to be fed tiktoks i've already liked and interacted yes, with that's and that's when you know it's really bad you know when, when you're this really this app is like starting to repeat <laughs> on you because it's like bitch i literally don't know what else you you're want. beating like, the algorithm yeah i'm like i'm beating the time it takes for people to make more content you know when it gets really bad is when you get past that point and then they start recommending <laughs> videos like with zero likes or it's, it's either zero or like a like eight million like so many i almost want to see right now like i haven't been on it as much like the past two days um hello um and i want to see if it's gonna do that like if it's like top like look three likes yeah 39 exactly likes. and then it's like a few normal ones that i would maybe interact with but then it's like gotten into a lot of like the cap cut shit where it's just yeah templates w- like weird templates and then it's like like high school drama like when he doesn't text you back like yeah. weird like eight million liked tiktoks and then like a hundred ads they're like oh this is like an ad <laughs> watcher like they're gonna just get make us meet our quota yeah, and i'm literally. fed like Four Four ads in a row. Yeah, like like four in a row. And it's it's just like, damn. It's crazy. Four motherfuckers for the bitches that were going to clip that and say four. Oh, he put up three. Like, what the hell? Four. (laughs) Well, I brought the ticket thing up because I was driving the other day and thinking about how most people, like, a ticket doesn't stop them from interacting with a habit like that like it's we just live in a day and age where grabbing your phone is such a within a split split second if you're free so if you're at a red light or in traffic you're gonna grab your phone because that's how I got caught I was like on the highway and standstill traffic and I was fully on my phone I think I already told the story I looked up at him I was like oh my god this is embarrassing Mm -hmm. whatever um but a way to curb that would have to be When the cop comes up to you, you legally have to screen record what you were looking at and bring it to court. Like, imagine having (laughs) to go to court and be like, so I was on this person I fucking hate's Instagram page because I needed to see their story and what they were up to. Or like, so (laughs) I was texting about like this, this and that. Like, Mm. I like having to show like 
what exactly you were watching. See, I've literally always thought about that, like how it would be if like I was on my phone, but I was literally looking at like Google Maps or some shit. And they're like, I saw you on your phone. And I was like, no, I swear. Like I was on Google Maps. Like that's always, if I ever do get caught, I'm just going to switch over to Google Maps really quick. See, and be my like, shit is connected to CarPlay. And I literally am like with it in my hand, but the directions <laughs> are right there. And I'm like, oh, I just need like... Yeah. Yeah. Don't right. don't text and drive. It's so easy not to do that. Don't yeah. use your fucking phone and drive. It's so easy not to. We are not good influences. Don't do as we do. Do as I say. I'm actually pretty good about it, though. But I was so shocked when I got stopped for that. I was like, are you freaking serious, bro? And then I already said this, but I'm just going to repeat myself. When he went back to his car to write the ticket, like I wasn't touching my phone as if I was on punishment. <laughs> I was like, I already got caught using it. Like I might as well just get on and get keep on watching and IG stories. And you had pride and you did do it in his face. Yeah. Also, I feel like I have, never mind. I don't have to do anything. Well, this is just a car episode because we have a few things that happened. So we went to Miss Devin Lee Carlson's birthday. Um, yes, we yeah. were invited to like major socialite time. events. All the time. Like every party you've ever heard of in LA, we go to because... Yeah. We are the it girls, like the people. Your favorites, favorite is me and I, Inya, mm -hmm. me and Arm. Like we're your favorites, favorites. Like Sh Sh Sasha Kobe, your favorite drag queen's favorite drag queen is Sasha Kobe. Your favorite person's favorite person is me and Inya. It's so true. Yeah. Because we um, like, it's almost like bad. We always have to say no to social events. I know. Because like, we're so, many so booked and just we're like doing it all the time. And too. we're not laying in phone in bed on in our phone, phone on right? the bed. yeah um but on the way home kai wanted us to drive him and i was sober that night so i was driving and i was driving in his car and kai like came up to me and was like hey like can you take me home like i don't want to have to uber this way and i was like sure like what is like six six minutes away or something it was like 17 minutes out of the fucking way i know it but, was like when you said that also i was just chewing on my finger so crazy in the mic and i know i sounded crazy <laughs> um but when you were like, yeah, no, it's on the way, I looked at the map, and I was like, bitch, that is not on the way. It's I know, I literally, just, like, out of the way. But I wasn't going to fight it because I didn't mind. Yeah. Also, I was, like, having fun being in the car listening to music. Like, I it don't It was care. a key. It was a literal key blast. Well, we're pulling out, and I literally crash in his car within three <laughs> seconds. Like, I drive it up on the curb and, like, <laughs> and like, it's, like. crush the underside of my and bumper. And everyone was, like, dying laughing. And I was like, guys, it's literally not funny. Like, this isn't <laughs> he funny. He got so mad. He was like, oh, of course, this would fucking happen to me. This is not fucking funny. And I then know. jumped out. And I, like, went and looked at it. And everything was, like, pretty much normal. And I was like, oh, like, we're good. Like, yeah. let's let's keep driving. Um, and we get on the freeway and I get a notification on Inya's car and it's like the tire pressure and I'm like, oh, I just click okay and ignore it because like that shit always pops up. And then it pops up again and I click okay again and I'm ignoring it. And then I'm like, okay, the third time is popped up three times now. Like I need to look at this. And it's like one tire, then not the tire that I hit, but the tire on the opposite side is like 14% or 14 PSI, 13 PSI, 10 PSI. And I'm like, guys, we have a fucking flat. And everyone's like, no, we don't. Shut up. And I'm like, we have a fucking flat. <laughs> and we were on the freeway and we almost fucking died, y'all. Like, it was Drew's so summer, scary. He told everybody after him and like, the, everybody who we saw the next day was like, yeah, what'd you get up to? And he was like, well, we almost died. But um, <laughs> <laughs> other than that, like, things have been good, but it was just really scary. Like, you're so annoying. You say it to everybody. And then they always look at me because obviously we were together. Yeah. And I'm just like, just... Like let it literally, he's, let him do it, he's I guess. being annoying. But yeah, no, we literally almost flipped and died like well, thirteen times, and it's all Kai's fault. Basically, it was a culmination I, yeah, of that story. Yeah, it is story. Kai's fault. I bet Kai put something in there because we refused to hang out with him, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna make them hang out with me," and he knew that he'd get us on the side of the road for like yeah. twenty five minutes. Yeah. So when the tire went flat, I was. I saw somebody being like, can you stop mentioning being drunk or high on the episodes? Because I think every story, I'm like, I was drunk. But this is just for context. I was drunk and I know how to change a tire. But I was like, bitch, I don't want to do that right now. Like, no, I didn't get. Who the fuck said that? Yeah, I know. Fucking nerd, loser. <laughs> loser, virgin, loser. <laughs> um, but I 
was inebriated and I didn't want to change a tire in that moment. So in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to call triple A. I don't even want my trunk is full of shit. Getting the spare out is too much. I didn't want to do it. But then something clicked in me because I remembered how much fun I have changing tires. I literally get a kick out of it. Like it is so it's fun. So I've weird. changed like four tires in the past two years and they always pop around me because God wants to give me a fun game to play. If that kind of stuff was happening to me all the time, actually, no, I don't want to wish. Never mind. I, I was going to say that would be fun. But like, yeah, my tire is going to explode on the freeway and I'm going to roll. 13 times and God's gonna be like fix that bitch <laughs> and I will I'll fucking like <laughs> you, like hammer it back like, together in cartoons when it's like really fast going around it's like zzz, zzz. Yeah, yeah yeah um but basically I was the saving queen of the night because I fixed the tire all by myself and insert video now girl putting the tire on yeah she's how dare you guys we tried to help but she wouldn't let us and Josie and Kai Drew told them while we had the tire up and we were like putting the spare on and uh, screwing the bolts in Drew kept saying to Kai and Josie like be careful putting the spare in the trunk because don't push it off of the what is it called like a crank yeah he, he was the, like don't don't push it off of there don't push it off of there bitch they the didn't fucking listen and they pushed the tire into the trunk too hard and the car fell right onto the spare and this the screw thing knocked into my mouth and i got a busted lip because of kai and josiah yeah kai so and never Aenya let them bleed. live that down because they literally fucking hit me which is so weird because i'm their friend and mm -hmm. i like i do care for them and i'm always looking out for them but just in a split second yeah. for joy or like as a joke they decided they wanted to bust my lip yeah it's they really like weird. literally made Inya fucking bleed and they almost ripped my fingers off like <laughs> i was so scared this episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices and the path forward isn't always clear. Um, for me, making the decision in high school to pursue entertainment full time instead of going to college was a horrifying decision to make. And I really wish I had the guidance of a therapist at the time to help me work through those thoughts and emotions because on one hand, I was like, I don't want to disappoint my family and what if this fails and what if I fail and blah, 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 blah. But on the other side, like it could be really successful and I could love what I do in five years. And obviously I made the right decision because here I am, but um, it would have been nice to be able to talk through that with someone. It just would have been nice to talk to a therapist that could have helped me just like figure out out like not only the path forward but to help me set boundaries with myself and with my family and the people around me at the time and help me become the best version of myself and also I wasn't really good at coping back then and it would have been nice to learn positive coping skills and I'm not elaborating on that. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. All right, it's getting to that time of the year. Before I know it, it's flown by. I need to go see a doctor because I have not been taking care of myself because I live my life like a silly child, even though I am very grown. But finding a doctor is too hard and nobody teaches you how to do it. We all know that that's a constant complaint. And it used to be a complaint of mine until I found ZocDoc. Via ZocDoc, I'm able to plug in my insurance, pick any day, any time, online or in person to meet up with a doctor, talk to somebody, solve what's wrong with me, please. All the doctors I've found through ZocDoc, I actually continuously go to. And it's very rare that at this point, I even need to find a new doctor. But what's awesome is I usually book all of my appointments with those doctors through ZocDoc because I have all my information on there and already plugged in. So it's super simple and it's honestly the best way to take care of yourself. Drew here. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient review doctors and specialists. 
You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition under the sun. These doctors all have verified reviews from actual real patients, not bots. The average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between 24 to 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. That's my favorite feature. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately with just a few taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc.com slash intercom. I was literally so scared. But then the next day, we go to the beach. We have a key at the beach for Zamara's birthday. And then we're driving home. Guys, I've never seen this happen before. But me and Inya witnessed Roadhead happen. Oh, I fully yes. really forgot about yes. this, dude. It was so insane. It was so lit, too. It I was tried like, so hard. I was like, what else happened in the car? Yeah, it was, oh, so, it was so, awesome. so lit. Because like we see the car in front of us like swerve out of the way. And Inya's like, what the fuck is that? And we drive It was up. like the middle of the day on a Sunday. So in my head, I'm like, there's no way you're drunk. Something's yeah. happening in there. And then like Inya like, says she sees a girl's hair like pop up really yeah, quick. Yeah, because like when he swerved, I saw through the thing like his arm go like this and her head was lifting up so i was like hmm wait what? and so i'm like in your speed up i'm like speed up please speed around so we like jerk out of our lane and start jerking off and like <laughs> we pull up next to the car and we look over and she was nowhere to be seen she was nowhere to be seen and he's like looking over he has like the biggest smile on his face he's like cheeky he's like happy about it and he knows we know and yeah, then like he just watched me literally like yeah. a fucking pervert yeah. like be like yeah he knows we know and so he's laughing we're laughing and then we slow down a little bit and then we speed back up because i'm like wait hold on no there's no way and then she's now back in the seat oh, and, and they're then both like cracking they're the fuck looking up. at us like cracking the fuck up and then we're just like yeah 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 and like we yeah, celebrate and they were with like them. cheering back and I, in yeah. my head i'm like damn y'all are so cool because it was weird for us <laughs> like, I mean, they're doing no. Some shit I was gonna in say they're like, literally what? getting head in public. Like, like we were just seeing, into that. Yeah, like, we were just seeing if they were like drinking that just in case we yeah, had to call the cops. Yeah, I just want to make sure they weren't drinking off the floor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Because it's really unsafe. Or she passed out. Like, what yeah, if she I fell just want. I was just like uh, looking at her. Also, on the way to the beach, we had another car interaction. I really had to poop, and somebody just so happened to have a thing that said "honk if you need to poop," oh. and we honked. And they were. I've never seen someone happier about someone else needing to shit, but it was really cute. Yeah, they, we celebrated together, just guys. Cars the bring roads us together. in LA are so fun. Yeah, cars bring us together. Everybody's like, "Stop cars, stop cars, stop cars!" Like we we live in like a car dominated population, but look at what it does for us. Yeah, we get roadhead stories and poop stories. Right. Well. And feminist anthems. Nah, no. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> um, well, last episode, two episodes ago, I mentioned that I'm afraid of getting blood clots now. I f have a new thing I'm afraid oh, of. Oh, I thought you were going to like lie and say you had a blood clot. Yeah, I almost died, guys. Um, no, I literally did almost die, though. So... My new fear is rabies. Like, I'm convinced <laughs> that I'm going to get rabies, y'all. Okay, like, wait. What animals carry rabies? Like, is it mammals? Most of them. Bats carry what rabies. What do they really do, though? Like, what does rabies really do to a Girl, human? Girl, it makes you literally homophobic or hydrophobic. Oh, I have rabies, <laughs> I think. Wait, it no. makes you hydrophobic? Literally, it's so scary. In you already are, you stinky bitch. You oh. don't like to fucking shower. Bitch, you got rabies. <laughs> and that's wait Dr. does Pepper. hydrophobia actually also it's have a, to do with like drinking water yes dude bitch I know a lot of y'all who have that because you <laughs> refuse to stop squirting those little fucking liquid Mio's. IVs and oh. like strawberry packets into your water I saw this girl take this huge gallon and she put like red 40 she put like a bunch of red 40 in it like strawberry celsius like all this shit I can't talk my shit on this like I think it I want like like you're not drinking water anymore I want anymore. strawberry cake flavored water I'm sorry <laughs> Like, that sounds good to me. That is but, disgusting. So, the thing with rabies is, so you can, like, be sleeping in a tent at night, or you can be chilling in your bed with your window open while you're sleeping, and a bat 
flies into your room. Okay, so the probability is already <laughs> <laughs> incredibly. Wait, wait, so wait, listen, you listen, listen. Be listen. in the beginning of um, like a Halloween movie from Disney listen, Channel. Listen, listen, That's listen. what it's you have to start crazy. with. They bite you in your sleep. You don't even feel it because their bites are so small. You wake oh, up, you look at your really arm, cute, and you're like, actually. "Oh fuck, a spider bit me." Three days later, you're like, "Well, I'm a little sick." It's already too fucking late. The second you show signs no for, rabies, for rabies, no. And that's even, it, what's even crazier is like the videos of people with hydrophobia from rabies is fucking so scary because like you put a water in their face and they're like, <sighs> like they're oh, literally. I need to give some bitches rabies because yeah, that would be too fun. No, they're literally like My party terrified. trip being going up to somebody who's literally terrified of liquid. And then you just die slowly. That's really mean. And then I you that. literally die slowly and there's no cure for it. You when, can't get like liquids pumped into you? No, you don't. You don't die of like dehydration. You just die from fucking rabies. Why would they have a cure? How many people are getting rabies a it's year? It's not that so many. I guess, yeah. It's really not that many. <laughs> But I'm still f fucking scared because when I'm camping, there's bats out there and they'd be swooping. I bats fucking try to bite bats. me. I love mm -mm. bites. You said try to bite me? They literally try to bite me every time I'm out there. I have like people that can vouch for me every fucking time. I I'm literally the victim of a bat attack. Like it's literally so scary. And I'm ta I saw a I ain't bat talking recently Batman. and it made me so happy. And I ain't talking Gotham. <laughs> and I'm not talking the joke. Okay. <laughs> like seriously what the fuck is wrong with you well in Honduras when I was like seven one time I went no, to go uh -uh. take my little you're bucket lying. bath you're literally lying <laughs> one time I went to go take my bucket shower bath and my grandma had just heated me up some water on the stove I had like a nice little big warm bucket so I went into the bathroom with my bucket about to shower and I just hear like and I'm like like freaking out and I look up and there was a bat stuck in the bathroom with me and I freaked the fuck out and ran yeah, out as you and should. my grandma had to go in with a broom and trying to get him out and but like my grandma like accidentally closed the door behind us so then we were just in there with a broom a bat and like me and, and my bucket of water um and I didn't get rabies but I actually love bats they're so cute oh my god that would have sounded like wait <laughs> I know it would have not been okay um <laughs> So, you know, like, I'm afraid of getting rabies. Like, I'm convinced I'm going to get rabies. You're convinced but you know, a bat is going to come through your window at night in the middle of Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. It's I guess a I thing. did see a bat the other night. It's a thing. Um, but just like I'm convinced I'm going to get rabies, I'm convinced I'm going to win the lottery. Like, it's on the same level of, like, Deletion. That's, that's, yeah, exactly. But we were talking yesterday, and, and I was like, I was like doing like I had bought a lottery ticket because it was like two billion dollars or something. And I was like, I literally can't buy a, not buy a lottery ticket. And then I was like, oh, my God, I forgot I had this. And then I checked the <laughs> app and I was like, oh, my God, someone won. Like, oh, my God, I literally won. I he just know I was like, I just too. know I fucking won. So I made India record. Um, I didn't win, but I thought about it and I was like. If I won like two million dollars on the lottery, like I would be so pissed. Like I would like so much of it gets taken for taxes. Yeah, it, like, like if you win point, two million versus like two billion, do, like I would. I actually no, it would make me happy, but I'd be like, damn, I could have made two billion. I know, literally, <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like if I won just two million, I'd be like, bro, like what am I supposed to do with that? Like buy a fucking <laughs> Lamborghini Urus? Like I can only buy one, not three hundred. Like. <laughs> What but you're basically hell? saying, like, if you're going to be gluttonous and win the lottery, you need it to be, like, to the full extreme. Not yeah. like, yeah, I guess, oh, my God, living in L.A., like, you can't even get, like, a really nice house. I know. You can't even get, like, a house in L.A. It's fucking terrifying. Housing market's collapsing soon. Like, I promise. Just wait, guys. Wait it out. We'll be good soon. Well, this is what I wanted to show you Um, that made me laugh. Oh, yeah. Your note. <laughs> it's, like, not that funny, but it still is making me laugh. Because <laughs> you have to look at the time and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes the fuck i do bitch yes i do literally, i think <laughs> period it's like i like was really feeling emotionally charged in the middle of the night the other night and i was like i need to write this out and then i went to go start and i was like my brain was like um and then i just <laughs> left it alone and i thought i would circle back but i instead circle jerked with drew's mom and then we fell asleep so Imagine huh. being so brave your first date is at the beach. You oh, are a killer. You no. are the killer. See, whoever I'm dating will not see my body for three years. Yeah. I mean, I think that's correct. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, but I'm speaking more like as a victim who has seen your body. I know. It's really, yeah, it's it's really, really traumatic, <laughs> y'all. Like, it really like, is like a scary, it's scary as fuck. It's like when Neptune in SpongeBob shows his head. 
That's what it felt like oh, for me. Oh, yeah. It's like Pharrell in the big hat. Yes. Neptunes. Mm-hmm. You get Don't. it? Neptunes, Pharrell, big hat, yeah, SpongeBob, yeah, yeah. Drew's scary body. Like, there's just like everything layers. I say, there's like levels and layers to it. And yeah. y'all just like aren't intellectual We're not there enough. Yet. Yeah. yeah. To like fully understand the grasp of what I'm saying. Um, okay. So this is another thing. I think something bad's going to happen again. Like I really do think something big is coming because it's been like almost a year since I've predicted that like something big was coming. Yeah, not an earthquake. I'm thinking something like on the microcosmic level of like our house. Like I'm thinking like someone is going to invade us or someone's going to try God, to burn our house down. Why would you even down. like want to think that? I, I mean, I guess I did thoughts. have the feeling two days or yesterday that I genuinely am convinced right now that I'm going to die soon. Yeah. And um, I made it in your record. Actually, I we both did that. We both recorded, recorded our a will. will. Yeah. yeah. So we Guys, have our wills ran, ran. But I just like sometimes I get into these um, points where I'm like, oh, I need to feel everything I'm supposed to feel right now because one, like, very soon I will not have this. And then I was listening to a song yesterday before I fell asleep, and I was like, this is genuinely what I think dying feels like. Um, what song? Is listening to the song. It's a Robin Guthrie song that's mm. really good. But I'm like, this is definitely what it feels like to name be dying. Name the song. I want to listen um, to it. I can't name it because I was listening to the whole CD, so oh, I would have okay, to go, okay, like, okay. listen through because I don't know the track. But um, Gatekeeper. Okay. Gatekeeper. Gay keep yeah I do keep them I have a lot around me it's like weird honestly um fuck I was gonna say something. oh opening a pad in a public restroom is the <laughs> equivalent to opening a bag of candy when the movie starts at the movie theater <laughs> it's just like that, that same pressure you feel where you're like fuck am I like how am I gonna do this am I gonna be brave and just like fucking get it over with and rip it open or am I gonna like slowly like Dude, feel no, it like, I... so, like those people translate like the girls in the movie theater who just rip that shit open are the same ones in the bathroom who are just like poof, poof, poof. and that's me like when I'm opening my pad in the bathroom I'm like I don't give a fuck about your feelings like I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna own it you should be embarrassed though because you're using it like a pseudo diaper because you I shit, shit out your butt. <laughs> so I, have a, I have a soggy so you bottom. you put it on the back of your underwear. I have a soggy fucking bottom, okay? Like a gaping bottom hole. Oh, there it is. Being forced as a young girl to go to a swimming pool in like a family setting, when, what, like when you first started your period and you were only allowed to wear pads, that is the kind of like trauma that i don't think i see anybody talking about like being forced Wait, to sorry, wear a, reading, reading. being forced to wear a pad in a pool like that is like so fucked up like is that a thing that's a i think that's a universal thing is like most girls who start their periods start using pads you're always around family events and like situations where you're gonna get in a pool Ugh. you don't want to be the weirdo who's not in the pool so you're period. oh my god Ugh. i didn't know we were talking about that Oh, nasty. (laughs) All of y'all are fucking nasty. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, what is wrong with you? Where's the love? What did the Barbie move? Oh, you haven't seen it. Where's the fucking tits? They don't talk about periods in Barbie. Actually, maybe I should go see it. So you can learn about periods? No, so I cannot have to learn about periods. Oh, because they don't talk about it. They do. If you haven't seen it, like, I don't know. Just ignore me. But they do. I don't know why I'm telling you that. You haven't seen that movie. I shouldn't do that. No, I don't want to say it. Right. Right, right. Um, well, the other day I was looking in the mirror. Um, the other day I was looking in the mirror. Um, what? Like, seriously, what's wrong with you? No, no, no. I was just looking at myself, and I was, like, playing a game. <laughs> I was playing a game, seeing how long I could stare at myself in the eyes for before I, like, completely, like, experienced ego death. I really don't suggest anyone does that. But, like, if you really want to have, like, a for real, like, a psychedelic experience, like, look at yourself <laughs> in the mirror for longer you than three need minutes. To, like, actually be examined in a really, <laughs> well, no, really no, 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 serious no, no. way. Like, to think I was probably just on the couch playing Fortnite and, like, 10 <laughs> feet away, that's what you're doing in the bathroom. I'm, like, well, you no, listen. seriously need help. Like, no, there's listen. people around you. <laughs> listen, I was staring at myself. I was like, it was like a game. I was like, how long can I do this for? Right. And then I got lost in it. And then I, like, snapped out of it. And I saw myself for the first time, like, for really what I am and what I look this like. This is literally me when I get addicted to the grind and I got to step back. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I get lost. <laughs> Lost in the sauce, but I, I saw myself for who I really am and what I really look like. I know who you are, and I'm convinced. I see you for who you are. We switched timelines in the like near, like in the last like 
two months. So you have this thing when um, when you're experiencing emotional events, you just convince yourself you switch timelines <laughs> no, so I, that I, you can leave the... I didn't take that as a note and I didn't write that down and I was just trying to be funny. I didn't actually think that... <laughs> this is like every time I talk about any relationships, like romantic relationship oh problems I'm in with Drew, he always loops it back to the economy. Like he within 12 hours of me like just talking through something with him was like, dude, it's literally like the economy. Like you you got to like like get your place in and like you either like thug it out and you end up good on the other side or you pull out and like you never know what happens. Like or like you said something like that and then you But said did I else. eat? Did I eat? <laughs> Look Look, look, you can apply it both ways. Like, listen, 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 listen. When you invest invest in the stock market, if it dips down a little bit and you pull out, you actually lost money. But if you stay in and it goes back up, you didn't lose money and you gained a profit. So basically, stay in your own fucking lane. And it's like that on the goddamn highway when we're in traffic. <laughs> stay in your goddamn fucking lane, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it's seriously wrong with you i guess yeah it, like it makes sense but just to be in a position where i'm like crying and i'm like yeah and you know like i don't know like this is like whatever and you're just like dude this is exactly like the economy. this is what i've been telling you lizzie mcguire <laughs> lizzie mcguire lizzie mcguire no but i he literally did it, like ate. twice but the second time he did catch himself he was like okay i need to stop doing that <laughs> <laughs> i was like this is the second time i've related your emotions to the economy and it's proving your point that i am like not a robot. a robot or i am a robot um but yeah that's what you get for coming to me of all people um with emotional problems because i am <laughs> emotionless also i'm sorry i started laughing because my top three notes are all about my coochie <laughs> But this one, like, what the fuck is that machine? I eat so much cheese and pickles. My P word probably tastes like electric shock from a defibrillator. I mean, you're right. Like, a defibrillator is like the... And I could... It tastes like battery. I feel like those taste like... I feel like your vagina tastes like a 9-volt battery. Yeah. I won't lie. Like, I can see that. Like, you know when you used to lick the old Android charger? That's what I'm saying. Of, like, that's what I'm assuming. Where, you know... Oh, you know the new Nintendo Switch cartridges? Oh, That's what no. bronze, your Bronson tastes like. No, because it's that bitter was, that's and like, scary. It's like alcohols. Um, oh, and then the last thing I said about periods and coochie is... If someone Ooh. told me doing meth once a month stopped my period, I'd try it. Also, I'm just in a mental state where i think i'd just try it in general <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be lit we should like start on like doing arc. meth once and then it's like once a month just like stops your period pain I'm yeah sure actually, i mean it, I, it's I'm like sure it stops it's, a lot of things it's a literal win-win situation because you get high from meth and you also don't have a period yeah um kind so of. yeah but don't do that yeah no, don't try yeah. that don't even I test wouldn't. that out um but yeah i feel like lately i'm giving like fishy cunt <laughs> Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, I got... Okay, so I gotta say a lot of the famous people y'all know aren't that cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, it was a joke. And I the cadence was all wrong. It was supposed to be like, I know all of... Whatever. Yeah, it was supposed to be a joke about you knowing every famous person. But yeah. like, dude, you Damn. reading through your notes and trying to understand your tone before Damn. saying it out loud was the craziest thing I've ever heard. Um... Oh, this is a good one. I think we've talked about it before, but I, don't, I literally don't give a fuck. How are people still breaking records like while they're running? Like how are people like getting faster and faster? Yes, how are people getting faster and faster? Girl, and I know the technology. Meth. It's that fucking Celsius. It's yeah. that meth. It's like in the technology and the sneakers and like I whatever the running form. But like really think about it. Like how are we getting faster? It makes no fucking sense. And then that brings me to the next thing. It already is talked about. It's like two weeks old now. But the girl that like kind of cheated her way into the race and literally <laughs> recorded the slowest I love what they say about her in that the one world's Jeremy. slowest fucking time fuck i wish i remember exactly because it wasn't a popular video that you showed me that like had this voiceover but it was like this average and unhealthy woman like, yeah, yeah, yeah like that's yeah. literally how people describe me that's, yeah exactly but um, she recorded okay. the world's okay. slowest time like in a race what <laughs> laughing at myself be like that's me <laughs> like, <laughs> okay shane dawson <laughs> me okay that's literally me okay i'd rather be at home with a pizza uh, <laughs> what the heck uh the ghost 
<laughs> the Gucci the Ghost. Oh. Full tracksuit Gucci Ghost. I'm farting. Welcome to Drew Psyop Corner. I've noticed enough and I'm going to stop paying attention now. <laughs> That's actually how I feel. Like I was sitting and talking to Elisa and her homie about like law school and stuff. And I was saying that I was like, damn, bro. I don't think I've ever felt this stupid in my life. Like I literally couldn't tell you the first thing you do at law school. But like, I don't you know, know a single thing you're supposed to learn. The laws like that's literally where my knowledge of that <laughs> ends. Like also what you just have to know every law. Like what is the test like that for? Like <laughs> Me I don't Orion understand. We're literally talking about the same thing about like mathematics, like looking at <laughs> people like solve the code to nuclear bombs. And it's like a bunch of letters and numbers on the board. I'm like, yeah, fucking right. You're lying. You just wanted to fake it. Like that's not like, real. That doesn't mean anything. Also, like, I could put symbols on a board and then just tell you what I think they mean, and it's going to make sense. Yeah. Like, so I just don't believe you, and it's really weird. Um, But, yeah, I just will never learn anything ever again, I don't think. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, which is exactly what our parents did at one point. Yeah, our parents literally cheated the system. <laughs> okay. ISIS and Fetty Wap were running shit in 2014 for real. <laughs> That's a crazy mix. Think about it, though. I mean, like, it is true. That's all. That was the talk of the town. Yeah. Talk of the town. Remember when the talk of the town was swine flu? Yeah. That, I was convinced I was going to get yeah, it. Yeah. Everybody thought they were going to get swine flu. But I guess I feel like that's equivalent to you thinking you're going to get uh, rabies. But I did clots. know a kid growing up who actually did get swine flu. Yeah. It was starting it was like to grow pretty- around in my school. Like three kids got it, but they caught it before it spread. Um, but yeah. I think I'm responsible for the demise of ISIS. Like, I think I single-handedly stopped them. I actually them. do believe you. Yeah. Somebody from their team definitely saw you. Yeah, because like, no. I was posting, like, IG stories back in, like, 2016 of me saying, like, stop. ISIS, like, literally, please fucking stop. And it literally worked. Dude, I cannot believe what the internet has fed us since we were children. Like, the fact that we were even a part of that conversation, we were literally babies. Yeah. That is insane. I know. And I'm like, just thinking so much about, like, I don't know, like, our moral ambiguity that's come with the internet and how it's, like, such a toss-up. And, like, you really have to choose one side. But do you? Like, there's so much great context in the world. Yeah, it's really, really fucked up that I was, like, 13 years old, like going through puberty actively and watching people die on my iPhone. Like, that's so <laughs> fucking crazy. That It's, I, like, insane. Like, every... And it's not like we stopped it. We, were, we like, all are at the age where we were like, okay, there has to be a way to stop this. Yeah, but, like, I don't I know that there is. I cannot believe... And, like, there's nothing my parents could have done about it. Like, I, I was going to watch was people die anyway. And, like, I... Like, a part of me is, like bad shit exists and we should be able to consume it but like I, there has to be like a there way has to, to be a like line. there has to be a line that we just can't cross and especially I think for me, children yeah me at 13 years old watching isis behead someone is like that line insane like yeah. i shouldn't know what that is um right right oh this is the last thing i'll talk about then we'll get into media but me and India left the house yesterday for the first time in like three weeks and we went to Sephora. And if you're watching, like this isn't a dig at you. It's literally like we were dying laughing after this interaction. <laughs> but oh, but um, one of the like uh, the, people the who worked the there. The girl at the front cashier. Yeah. I can't remember her name. She yeah. asked her name. And she so uh, she was like, oh, can I get a picture? And I was like, yeah, sure. And she was like, oh, but like, how are we going to do this? Like, And I was like, oh, I have long arms. Like, I'll take it. So I was like holding her picture. And I was like taking like a bunch of photos because I'm like, oh, like, let's It's get nice to one. like do enough for you to like feel cute and yeah, want everyone. Pick, yeah. Yeah. Someone's going to look good in all of them. But one of them is everyone's going to look good. Like, that's my philosophy. So I was taking pictures. And then like, I'm like, oh, let's look at them. And she's like, okay, that's enough. And then like just leaves. And I'm like. <laughs> Her phone, it was like it's, it was nice meeting you. Guys. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, like literally, T, like Dude, you. I ate. love that. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, she was like, you took like way too many pictures on my fucking phone. <laughs> yeah, because you were literally fucking taking a burst on her goddamn iPhone. As I should. People should be thanking me. Oh my god, imagine going to take a selfie with like somebody famous, and your phone has no more storage. Literally, what do you do? That has to have happened to somebody. That probably that's, happened that's to what Ellen I was... for the Ellen selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, dude, have y'all seen this? There was a world where we didn't get that fucking selfie. Dude, have you seen this new fucking photo? What? It's Ellen in like all of the celebrities at the award show. Like a selfie. It's crazy how neither of us can name a single other celebrity (laughs) or the award show. Because as you were doing it, I was like... 
Yeah. Like waiting for you to say something. I know. It's I feel Ellen, like Jennifer Lawrence had to have been in like there. That Christy was just the era. Teigen has Christy to be in Teigen. <laughs> um, and the one dude, not McConaughey and not Pitt, but the other. I know which one you're one. talking about. Um, he was in Limitless. He, is he in a Stars Born? Yeah. Yeah. I oh my god, what is his name? Wait, I really need I It's like Bradley Cooper. Bra- oh, literally Bradley, Bradley Co- fucking Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, wow. I saw someone the other day say Jennifer Lohan. <laughs> like Jennifer just, they Lohan. were like grouping up every like early celebrity and they were like Jennifer Lohan. Uh, That's Jennifer Lohan. Sick. Yeah. Should we just get really deep for a second? Like, do you have anything you want to talk about? Oh, deep? absolutely no, because <laughs> my personal life is crumbling before my eyes, and it was difficult to get on here and be funny. Yeah, we weren't going to have an episode this week, but Inya persevered. She is unironically going through some shit. I'm but just, like, like, literally such a giving and caring person, and if I'm feeling down, I just want to make sure you feel good. Mm-hmm. But no, maybe but that she more is... has to do with the fact that I don't like myself, so I don't focus on myself because I'm scared of myself. So it has less to do with my caring for you, but more to do with my lack of caring for myself. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Like, let's get deep. Yeah. Let's talk about some deep shit. Like that's, the, you know what's the crazy mother friend is, of the group. It's crazy hearing someone else from the Philip family say that because that's what your mother says to me. Oh, She's always oh saying that. It's so weird. Why? You guys think so like... Oh wow! <laughs> this I just didn't know I was gonna be violated like this on the podcast. I'm gonna start saying I'm, I was violated, <laughs> and you violated me with that <laughs> comment. Maybe don't like I don't like the way it, that sounds like a really harsh finger to point at me. Why? <laughs> to say like I was violated by Enya, like oh first, my like, fucking god! <laughs> like do you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you violated me. I feel like if I walked into yeah. her and said that, everyone would be like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm not gonna in- make <laughs> yeah, that my vocab. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that is so funny. Though. <laughs> um, um, okay, <yeah>. well, <laughs> I got one more thing um, to leave y'all off with, and then we'll do media, and then we'll move on. Oh, are we gonna but do Drew side up? One more. Um, don't show me anything on the phone anymore. There's nothing I need to know that's in the phone. Show me a bird's <laughs> eye and a child's smile. <laughs> I love like it's like there's nothing else in the phone. Well, I fucked up because it's so, supposed to read <laughs> on the phone. It's supposed to read, "Don't show me anything in the phone anymore." There's nothing I need to know that's in the phone. Show me a bird's eye or a child's smile. <laughs> no, that smile. is still funny. Like that. No, I know that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah but I right. I replaced the first in with on. <laughs> It's still so funny. <laughs> in the phone. Show me a bird's eye and a child's smile. Wow. Wow. Bird's lament. All right. Let's do media, guys. Okay, so I watched a movie today. <laughs> okay, um, you sound really happy about it. Yeah, I, I watched saw a movie today. A uh, Mirror Mind 2005, and the only reason I watched this movie was because I saw a video of people being like, album and um a movie that complements it really well or like that carries the same energy and one of my favorite albums ever bjork's best album is vespertine and i saw it in the list and the person said this movie mirror mind is like vespertine and i can confirm it gives the same energy like the sounds in it are really pretty like it's it's a it's really like a mundane movie but it like it's a mixture of like mundane and like how to pass time of or how to like pass mundane time with like spirituality and like how to like how they like intertwine it's really cool um I watch so that. check it out it's really fucking pretty here let me show you i was like screen recording it because i was like look at this fucking shot um but like hold on, hold on. wait 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 and yeah. then they just like intercut so between awesome. sunsets and oceans with their. It's Was really that on pretty. Criterion? No, it's literally on YouTube. Oh, so shit. go watch it. It's on YouTube. Um, two thousand five, me or mind. Um, and then my music Yana is I actually have a new song that I've been listening to. What the hell was that sound? Is that our doorbell? I'm like, there's no way that's the noise it's making. 
The new song is Hannah's Son by Lomelda. Come on, y'all. Like, that's a good fucking song. Yeah, it is really good. Um, oh, so good. And then In McDonald's by Burial. If you haven't listened to Burial yet, do it. Classic. Love, love, love. And I'm airing out my shit right now, so I'm going to shut the fuck up. But yeah. Um, I've been listening to Mutamami by Rosalia because you I been. never, yeah, I never really listened to it like that. And then I was like, damn, I'm so bummed I didn't see her live. So I've been listening to that album a lot. Only You Know by Dion, Everything Reminds Me of Her, Elliot Smith, Armin Doily, Maman Sani, and Ebb Tide, Houston and Dorsey. This is literally going to be Josh. That's- <laughs> 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 that's funny um, um <laughs> okay then last thing i'll lead you guys off with before we go is my me canceling my membership the email i sent hello i want to cancel the my Equinox. membership the sauna is always closed i was scanned by my last trainer then ignored by the staff once i asked for help and quite frankly i don't feel safe in the locker room <laughs> also the price point is just or also the price point just feels outrageous for what you get Thanks. Wow. That was a good read. I love, uh, quite frankly. Yeah. And quite frankly, like saying that. I like went Karen and I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Like suck my nuts. Yeah. That's the new fall vibe. That's the fall trend list is being a Karen. So next time someone's trying to sell you on TikTok shop items, if it's not a Karen suited fit, then you don't need it because you're (laughs) going to be off trend. That's the angle. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about. That's the angle. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know what I'm talking about? No. I said, oh, I'm going to get a billboard for it. Oh, that's the angle. That is it. That, there's like an intersection there that yeah. like, people aren't talking about <laughs> that I'm going to make commentary on. Dude, you say, that's the angle. <laughs> like, it literally was freaking me out. I was like, yeah, that is the angle. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. As if anybody gives a fuck what I'm going through, I guess. Yeah, guys, love yourself. Um, love your family. Um, the nuclear family is being destroyed, and it's the root of all of our problems. So, <laughs> like, wait, no, <laughs> JK, JK, JK. But love yourself. I'm love saying your family. chill, like, hey, chill, please. Chill, like, you're freaking me out. Um, all right. And peace and love and unity and respect. Bye.